Next drill we have for you today is what we call double toss. Um, I didn't create this drill, I actually uh, borrowed this drill and got the information from it from uh, Doug Lada, um, who has a lot of great information out there uh, for hitters. So the, drill, the goal of the drill is just to work on timing and um, how to get our kids to move a little bit slower um, and not feel so rushed and create this sort of pattern of check marks along the way of where they need to be. And so for us, we talk about seeing the ball early. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two we're gonna have a tosser, and the tosser's gonna to toss the ball up, starting with her left hand. So she's gonna to toss the ball up into the air, and then she's gonna catch it. When that ball goes into the air the first time, that's when we're gonna start loading, okay? The hitter's gonna start their load and their negative movement. The, the catcher then catches the ball and this continues and then flips, okay? So it's a double toss. You toss it, you catch it, and then you toss it forward. The goal through all of this is that there's never a pause in the movement of the hitter. So the hitter has to learn how to organize her body so that she's continuously moving at a speed that's gonna get her where she needs to be at the end. Um, we love the drill, it's great. Um, it, it's the best drill I think that we might do to get kids to feel slowing down in their swing before they fire, okay? So we're gonna show it to you now. Good. DJ, can you toss a little bit higher? Very good. And so you'll notice, you can go ahead, you'll notice when Jay hits that her first, when she starts her swing, she starts it with her lower body, her middle. She's loading that pelvis initially, um, but she's not necessarily taking her forward move yet. That's how Jay gets her rhythm and her timing. It works for her really well. That's why she has such a successful career so far. Good. A little bit out in front, work to the inside of that ball. Good. It's a difficult drill. Good. One of the things I would tell you, it's, it's easy for sometimes people want to do too much with the drill and they'll change when they release it. It's important to try to keep a general same timing of that tosser. Uh, you're not trying to throw the hitter off on this. You're trying to get them to feel moving early, moving slowly, trying to get that feel of moving through space in a slow tempo, but on time. Okay, so we're gonna take two more. Really good right there, really good. Really nice, really nice. So that's double toss, it's a great drill. You can use it with uh, tennis balls as well if you'd like. Um, you can use it with wiffle balls, you can use it with anything you like. You can also do it from the side with a side toss, doing the same thing so there's not as much timing if you have a young hitter. I uh, hope you find it beneficial.